Hello, I'm the Media Wiz, because One Night Forum wasn't enough. So, in the past, I've been pretty defensive of the Brony fandom. Yeah, I've stood up to the Captivating Christian and Fox News, but whenever I see a critic critique the Brony fandom, they have a lot of really good points. So, get your computer and get ready to search DeviantArt, YouTube, and many other websites as we're going to talk about the worst that the fandom has to offer. This is the Top 10 Worst MLP Fan Works. My Little Brony by College Humor. Now this is on the bottom for two reasons. One, it's a joke video about bronies, not an actual brony video. Secondly, it's actually not that bad. But as for College Humor standards, it's not that funny. I've seen people make fun of bronies in a very original way. Rucka made bronies look like pedophiles, Cody Briscoe talks about the cringe videos that the brony fandom offers, I Hate Everything brings up the obsessive nature of the brony fandom. This video just seems to go for the obvious jokes that there are fat man children who collect toys, live in Cheeto dust filled basements, are disgusting perverts, and live just to watch this show. Not a bad idea for a short, but just feels like wasted opportunity. But at least give them an A- for effort though. My Little Brownie. Good concept, but mediocre execution. Elements of Insanity. Once again, this isn't bad, more is it's more just confusing. So, in this animation, the main six are corrupted by hats from Team Fortress 2. Because reasons. And they turn to the following. Fluttershy turns into a bloodthirsty maniac. Seen it. Rarity becomes a manipulative snob. Pretty much just an evil version of herself. Rainbow Dash becomes a mecha car knockoff. Crush! Kill. Destroy. Swag. Pinkie Pie becomes Pink Amina, and Applejack becomes a drug addict. I am not making that up. Pills here! What is this? Pills? And Twilight becomes... evil. <laughs> yeah, nothing really specific, just she's evil. Ooh. Again, this one's not terrible, and I mean, it definitely shows a team effort, but for me, it's just too out there for me to actually get into. Elements of insanity. Not bad, just weird. In fact, it's the kind of weird that I actually kind of wish that you'd actually see it. This is actually a two-way tie between Dusk's Dawn and MLP Stop Motion. Both share the number 9 spot because they're both so bad and yet so hilarious. I already talked about Dusk's Dawn in my previous Internet Fanmades review, but everyone seems to know how bad this one is. Cheap animation, stiff voice acting, cardboard cutout for characters, basic story, and laughably bad moments around every corner. Then there's MLP Stop Motion, which floats a very similar boat. Now, from the name, you'd think it would be something like a pony version of Just Some Random Guy or Turbo J UK, but... Well, just watch some of this. That's basically what MLP Stop Motion is. Little girls from London playing with their pony toys and play sets with some minor editing thrown in. But it has a very goofy charm to it. Yeah, it's cheap and very amateur, but that's sort of what makes it funny to watch. That, and it's made by little kids, so I don't know, I can't really get pissed at it. Dusk's done in MLP Stop Motion. It's so bad. Tyranux on DeviantArt. Basically, this guy makes comic strips about characters from multiple franchises crossing over, sort of like Kingdom Hearts. And he's not all that bad. His artwork's definitely improved over time, and he's actually not that bad of a writer. But his humor... I just don't understand it. Now think of him as sort of the DeviantArt equivalent of Elements of Insanity. Good ideas with weird executions. Like this strip, Budding is Magic, where it establishes that ponies reproduce like amoebas. And then you got this comic strip, Super Saiyan Fluttershy, where Fluttershy gives birth to a human baby. What? What's even weirder is that he makes an entire comic strip series about the main six getting knocked up. And how'd they get pregnant? Because they were roofied. Because Twy and me proved that that's hilarious! Ah, 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 ah. Tyronux on DeviantArt. Seriously. Just, just stop making comics about pregnancy. It's, it's freaking weird. Crooked Trees on DeviantArt. This guy specializes in making photorealistic ponies that look like humans with signs of plant life on them. And to give credit where credit is due, he actually does make really genuinely good looking artwork. It has a macabre Tim Burton style to it, but that's what I can't get behind. It's way too creepy for me. I mean, look at the Pinkie Pie right here. It looks like it's staring into your soul. 
And Scooter looks like she's crying blood. And Luna looks like she's taking the saddest selfie ever. It's pretty to look at, but God, is it freaky. Crooked trees, well painted, and potential nightmares you'll see in your sleep. It watches you when you sleep. Friendship is witchcraft. I already covered FIW in the original Internet Fan Maids review, so I'm just going to give one short sentence to pretty much sum up my thoughts on Friendship is Witchcraft. If a joke is not funny, and you have to point out that it's not funny, that does not make it funny. It makes it stupid. That pretty much sums up my thoughts on Friendship is Witchcraft. Next. Cupcakes ripoffs. Going back to cupcakes, I honestly think that it's actually pretty overrated, but it's actually a pretty good horror story. But when something is popular, you know that there's going to be a clone trying to milk off of its success. A lot of these stories are made to bank off of Cupcake's success. Some try to do something different, like Rainbow Factory or Sweet Apple Massacre, which try adding new things. But then you get stories like Experiment of Twilight Sparkle, where Twilight takes the rest of the main six and gives them shock treatment. Or Rarity's new dress, which has Rarity lure Fluttershy down to her house and kills her by taking her skin to make a dress. <coughs> That's <coughs> cupcakes. <coughs> then you've got the parodies of cupcakes, like Patty Cakes, where Fluttershy lures Rainbow Dash into her house and slips her a drug and makes her develop to that of a mindset of a child, and she puts her in a diaper. Not sure if it's supposed to be scary or stupid. I'm gonna go with stupid. Crap, it's even gone to the point where it's not just fan fiction, but people make Tumblr comics about these kind of things, like Sadist Rarity. Look. Look, Cupcakes was a decent enough story. We don't need more. Gavalanche on DeviantArt. This guy considers himself a comedic artist. With such funny topics like violence. And I don't mean cartoon violence like Looney Tunes or Three Stooges. I mean real physical violence. Then there's child abuse with funny comic strips with Rarity dunking Sweetie Belle into a vat of bleach and another of her locking into a car and pushing her into a lake. Okay, look, when South Park did it... Okay, South Park didn't really do it all that well too, but you know what I mean. Gavalanche. There's offensive humor, and then there's some cases where it's not even humor at all. Mega Sweet on DeviantArt. I've seen this dude's artwork featured on several Tumblr blogs, including Ask Foodashy, which is about Fluttershy as a pet pony to a human Rainbow Dash and Pinkie Pie. Not too bad, right? But then... I saw this. Yes. I had to censor that picture because it was originally not censored. Yeah, the best way I can describe this guy's art is if Hot Sauce had fan art of his fan fiction. Mega Sweet, just... no. Oh No shock here, it's hot sauce. His fan fictions find new way to suck. Bowling around involved pedophilia, Twy and Me had alcohol abuse, and hey, while we're at it, let's look at some of the other ones so that we never talk about hot sauce ever again. Mare's Milk had breast milk fetish with Fluttershy, Hot Sauce Dates a Goddess, and its sequel, Hot Sauce Dates a Princess, has him date Celestia and Luna at the same time, where he cheats on both of them, and then scores with both of them. Hot Sauce is basically the MLP equivalent of Adam Sandler from I Now Pronounce You Chuck and Larry. Hey, darling, what's the matter with you? You sound so upset. You slept with my twin sister on Saturday. That's why I'm so upset. Let it go, Darla. Hey, look who's here. He has moved up from Marshalls to Bloomingdale's. He didn't even know it was you that night, uh -huh. Donna. That's he a thought joke. It was me. You he knew it wasn't you because you would never do half the freaky stuff that we did. Tell me. Come on. I don't fight you two. You give each other a kiss and make up. You're the only sisters you got. Use your tongues. Come forward. That's right. Hot sauce. His fan fictions suck. Hard. God, guys, before we have to talk about Sonic 2 Issue 5, can we talk about something that's not that bad, please? Oh, well, that, that's not that bad. Well, until then, I'm the Media Whisk, because one art forum wasn't enough.